Welcome to Bishop's House on Good Friday. There's an ancient Roman tradition that St. Peter, while fleeing at Rome because of the persecution of Christians by the Roman Emperor Nero, saw Jesus traveling towards him in the opposite direction, back towards the city of Rome. And in amazement, he said, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus replied, I'm going to Rome to be crucified again. It was at that moment that Peter understood he had to turn back. He had to follow the Lord with courage wherever it might take him. But he also realised then he would never be alone on that journey. Jesus, who had loved him even unto death, would always be with him. For me, that's a very comforting thought, that Jesus walks with us and takes upon himself our fears, our sufferings, our problems, even those of our deepest and most painful, and our sins too. Jesus accepts all this with open arms, bearing on his shoulders our crosses, and he says to us, have courage, do not carry your cross alone, I am here to carry it with you. I bore my cross for love of you, and I carry your cross now out of love for you. I will always love you. We don't often do this, but today, Good Friday, can be a good opportunity for each of us to unite our own sufferings with those of Jesus. It's a difficult time at the moment, isn't it, during this lockdown? You're unable to meet up with friends and with family members who live elsewhere. You miss their company, just seeing them in person. You miss the freedom to, perhaps to travel, to go on holiday this Easter. All of this, and other things too, can be brought before Jesus on the cross and offered prayerfully to him. It's a way of personally uniting yourself with the suffering of Jesus on the cross. More positively, I've heard that so many of you have been carrying out little acts of kindness to others during this time of the pandemic, such as phoning or Skyping aunts, uncles, grandparents, other family members who live elsewhere and whom you cannot visit this Easter. And many of you have been praying for those who are ill and suffering from coronavirus at this time. Thank, thank you for these and all other acts of kindness and concern. They are important because, as St. Teresa of Avila beautifully reminds us, Christ has no body now but yours, no hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes through which he looks with compassion on this world. Yours are the feet with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands through which he blesses our world. Yours are the hands, the feet, the eyes. You are his body. Christ has no body now on earth but yours. Beautiful words from St. Teresa. So my prayer to you, my request from you, is be generous servants of Christ this Easter. And I take this opportunity to thank Tom and all the Briars team for all that they've been doing over these weeks, helping us all to enter into these days of Holy Week, into the Triduum, and into the joy and the hope that Christ always gives us at Easter. Thank you all, and I take this opportunity to wish you, your families, friends, and all the Briars team, a joyous, happy, peaceful, and healthy Easter.